You ready? Yeah. Okay, so we got both of you on the left here. So you guys like just started a club or? Um, well, it, it's been a club for a while and we're just trying to grow it. We have a coach who actually just walked in, but um, she's been um, kind of out of commission because of COVID. So we've been trying to run it and uh, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> that's that's fine. I Honestly, I applaud the effort. I wouldn't have the balls to just start running a fencing club from scratch. It's awesome. Well, it would, I mean, it's existed for a long time, so we, but we got a new kind of venue and um and we're starting to grow and it's actually going pretty good. Yeah, I see that. You guys like running out of a community center or something? Well, we were it was at a recreation center. Um now it's at the um VFW. And oh, okay, um, okay. I'm a that's, member that explains so got, all the, the chairs and okay, yeah. Yeah. And then what's your, do you guys have like, I guess you guys are competing this weekend, right? Yeah, we're going to the, it's the walk and roll in Denver. That's cool. And then what, what is that? Is that an open? Um, well, I, I, I think so. Yeah, it, it, it's the first of its kind. They, they have um, para fencers, the, the ones in wheelchairs. And then, so um, there's people that are non para fencers and then para fencers and we can fence each other, I guess. Oh, that's pretty I cool. Know, yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm sure the the guys seating are gonna wallop us because I've never done that before. <laughs> Don't worry about so, it; just enjoy it. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, fun though. And then as like a as a club, like, and then just I guess as a club, I guess your goal is just to get a bit bigger and then ideally take over the world. Exactly. Okay. Right, Elliot. <laughs> so based on what i saw uh red shoes uh yeah you're more experienced and then uh wait so elliot is on the right correct yes okay so elliot uh do you who usually wins this about it's kind of even okay nice. i think chris probably I, Elliot definitely beats me, um, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, we'll just look. There's, there's a lot of things, I think, because uh, you're mentioning you guys fence the same people over and over, and uh, that can get boring. And from what I've watched, uh, I can tell you why it's getting boring. <laughs> All right. So let's just start. So you're like, right from the bat, we got you just straight up flushing at him. You're just going man mode. Ready, fence. <laughs> Which is like all this is fine. So my, one of my big, uh, my big, what I'm going to chirp you on a lot is you guys do a lot of the stuff like let's pretend we have on guard lines. You guys do a lot of the stuff like in the middle of the strip. So you guys are effectively, in my mind, playing rock paper scissors over and over mm -hmm. and over because there's no setup, so no one's really taking advantage of anything, right? So you look like you have more stamina and experience, and you look like you're really uh, Elliot. You look like you're really fast. Uh, and relatively disciplined, but instead of so for you to for you to win, you, like you could take advantage of that by by moving around the strip and and everything. But instead, you opt for a lot of just middle of the strip. Let's see what happens instead of attempting to develop an action. All right. So right here, right, you go here. It's close, and then instead of just like. See so again, super close, and then you get hit because you you're like, should I keep hitting? Should I not? If you miss their action, just take it back and reset. And this is where you can take advantage of your experience. Are you following me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ready. I see. Then you're just pissed off because you missed the other one and you did it again. <laughs> but um, ideally, right? Right? How how would you develop? Like you're kind of trying to do like an outside six flick to the to the thigh, and you know, based on his on guard, he's nice and wide, like it's juicy. How else could you set that up? Right. So instead of just know. going ready, set fence, 
And then you just straight up, yeah. like, you take two steps and you try it again. Okay, nice. Um, once you start competing and as you go into higher levels, like, I'll eat you for breakfast. Like, fine, just give me free points. But, like, the way to, <laughs> right, the, the way to set that up, maybe, you could even, there's, a, there's more than one way, but, like, an easy one would be try to push him, see if he reacts, right? So if he reacts by just going to the back, then all of a sudden he's at the back and he officially can't move. So you can kind of predict... Like, you can kind of control when he goes forward more than anything else. Uh, or you can just start going back yourself. If he follows you, then you can also predict when he's going to come forward. So, right, the best time to hit someone, especially low line, is when they're stepping forward. So I think um, that, that will help you guys develop your actions. And I think, like, when you nail those actions, it's really satisfying. Like, it doesn't... Like you, it, it doesn't feel as like short-winded. Two. We're just going to three, right? No, no, we're ten. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Left his commentary. On guard, ready, set. What's that? Your commentary is hilarious. There. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know you heard that. <laughs> One three. All right. So again, like kind of a right, step, step, go. Okay, now that you guys are actually at practice, so we will we'll be able to go. Uh, you guys will be able to go practice right away. I actually, this kind of action I really like. Granted, uh, I guess you're tired of being of, of, of being attacked, so you just decided to take it back to him. If you're gonna, if you're gonna go to someone's hand, um, like I would um, like expect them to retaliate. Yeah, okay. Because right, you kind of went in, and your tip like went to the ceiling. And um, to, to be honest, it looks like you got you got kind of lucky. Ready, fence. Also, I, I do want to mention that um, our coach is a pentathlon coach, and I think pentathlon is a little different fencing. Oh, uh, yeah. I used, to, uh, I used to coach a lot of pentathletes who went to Rio. And so it's a lot of, I think it's faster, you know, because they and do one point bouts, right? So yeah. they don't give a, like, they don't give a hoot about the setup. Like yeah. there was one, one of the best girls was just like this tall French gripper. And she honestly just flashed 15 times and called it a day. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. like they, they have a lot of just like, uh, they have a lot of rock, paper, scissor action. So uh, now that you've told me that yeah. I can see where you guys are learning your fencing, which but is fine. I, I just once you start competing, it. it's going to be rough. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's right. So I actually this I like the you're thinking, Elliot, on this hit. You go forward once and you're like, cool. And then you do it again and again, but then if you're gonna do a feint, you do the feint to draw a reaction, right? So you were kinda of stumble when you did react. And then uh, I'm going to prescribe you guys a whole bunch of footwork. <laughs> Thank <that>. you, doctor. <laughs> I think uh, like, if you bend your legs instead of panic hopping, you can really just drive your tip in there and really just jam them. Okay. Oh. On guard. Ready, fence. Look at like look at this. This is the first time like either of you like one. I'm I'm just gonna call the table like the middle. But you guys want to like pass the table, and you guys actually had like an exchange, right? Uh, in theory, I would assume that you kind of looked at his reactions. But like, if you guys did more of this, like, you're, in my opinion, I think your fencing you would have more fun fencing because you're doing a lot more trial and error. Mm. Right, see there, I thought you were in the right. You just kind of missed. So sometimes I feel like um, you try to be a little bit fancy as opposed yes. to like straight to the point. Like just just drill them. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I get the pirate in me. That's what I call it. And it, I turn pirate. And I oh, yeah, you turn... start swashbuckling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I like pirate, you know? <laughs> I like, oh, man, if you bent your legs again, I think that's yours. We get the little hobbed, little inner knee, Michael Jackson. 
That's a, <laughs> that's a sick parry right there. Like, you are strong. And then I think I didn't actually score this point. No. Because. Okay, for, for, for credits where it's due, you are actually relatively bent. But only on your front leg. So all your weight is here. So if at uh -huh. any so right, so it's driving your tip with you as opposed to having more weight here. So front foot is planted, back foot ballerina. And then you can't <laughs> plant you just can't plant it, which is it's fine. This right. is like relatively you, you easy to fix. It's I just it just kinda sucks because it makes your matches a lot harder because you get more tired. Ready, fence. Ah. Well, you have to be careful, he's gonna end up with the nickname ballerina. <laughs> 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 and then yeah, see so you see you say you gotta stop pirating. So what's gonna happen at first when you guys stop doing a lot of this rock, paper, scissors, it's gonna be really awkward. Uh, because you guys are just kinda like flail at each other and then go. But over time you're gonna start kinda knowing each other's reactions and then you can play off of that. And then once you go a step further, you're gonna start baiting people with fake reactions. Right? So like let's say he does a hand fate, then you show a huge six. Then the next one does the same hand fate, and he thinks you do six, and instead you do eight. So there's um, a, a lot of interesting okay. development you guys will be able to do over time. Three, seven. That was just pirate getting punished. On guard. Ready, <laughs> Walk the plank, pirate. I lo like every time one of you guys starts developing an action, that person gets the point. And then otherwise, we're just kidding, like th this weird mishmash. See, that lasted more than one tempo past the table, and you absolutely just wrecked them. <laughs> So how important is it noticing, I mean, like this changing the action? Uh, say that again. How important is noticing where you're scoring on the piece? Uh, very. Uh, but it's specifically, specifically for me, like it's in the middle. In that bay, when it happens in the middle, especially within like the first five seconds, it means like the action spawned from nothing. So you didn't study your opponent. You didn't like really study yourself you just kind of close your eyes and said i'm going in mm. so your action is what it is and then his reaction is always going to be his like his gut instinct which is fine like maybe at like a 14 14 or you know once a few times a match is fine but when your whole match is that to me uh -huh. that could be why it feels like maybe a little boring right because you guys get tired of seeing which action counters what but in reality, you guys are probably recycling about three, four actions. But uh, this is actually one of your nicer ones. So you do that little feint, and you see this reaction, whether it's intentional or not. And then he thinks you're going to do it again, and you act, like Six, you basically disarm him. On guard, ready, fence. Oh, that was nice. Six, nine. So, like, what I would like you guys to do is, like, start doing more stuff like that, where you try to run an action for, like, a solid 20 seconds. Ready, fence. Double, 7, 11. And then from your side, Elliot, is... Right, he's giving you rhythm. On guard. So, let's say, um, let's say, right, he pushes you here, right? Let's say you take one step back, he follows. Cool. One step back, he follows. Cool. Then you do just a half step, he follows, and you just lunge into it. So, th those are ways to, uh, to, like, punish someone who's following too aggressively. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or alternatively, if all they do is follow, you can, like, you can bore them to death. Right? Let's say we're doing two steps forward, two steps back, two steps forward, two steps back, two steps forward. And all of a sudden, on his two steps forward, you do a third one back. 
instead of following back, you can then force a decision and see if they're actually following or just falling asleep. That was really clean. <laughs> so what's one of the first things we learn? Arm first. I I like these hits you do. You develop a lot of the hand, then you look at the thigh a bit. It's it's a little piratey, but I think oh my god, that was nuts. But you see how much control you like you have so much control over him when you start doing all these like grant uh Defense. granted they're flicks and they're kinda risky, so like right like you're effectively right on his tips. Uh he was a once he gets the confidence to really go for that hit, you're gonna like break your pinky. But look how much like look how <laughs> look how afraid he is, right? Every time he's you're forcing reactions before they even happen. So like a lot of like Work on the. So actually, I'm going to make a notepad. On guard. It's the pirate reaction. <clears throat> oh, I forgot my avatar is kind of a pirate, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is everyone doing? Okay. Ready, fence. Eleven, ten. I was like, the dude just like. Is he talking? Uh, no, no, I'm not talking. I'm, I'm just looking. Ready, fence. Oh. <laughs> Good, like, so. Right, so, so far we've seen, like, basically three actions or so so you you constantly try to flick the thigh and then if that misses you flesh or flesh direct or you flick the hand like crazy and he freaks out you mostly <laughs> elliot you mostly just uh you kind of punish his uh his mistakes so basically when he falls short you go poke him so you're very reactive which is not bad but not great either Because uh, you want to be really proactive, right? So, uh, I'll, uh, right, let's say, like, you get him to fall short a bunch of times and you hit him. What I would rather you do is figure out a way to make someone fall short, then hit him on your own terms. Mm -hmm. so, right? So, like, take a day, like, honestly, you're going to take a punch to the chin. It's going to suck. But, like, take a day where your only goal is to just make make people fall short. And then you really get a feel for it. it it's going to be brutal because you're just going to eat some hits. <laughs> but, um, yeah. like, once you get, like, good at it, or uh, even, like, mildly proficient, you'll just notice once in a while that you're actively setting that up. 1210. I forgot. Let's go 1210. On guard. Ready, fence. <laughs> Look at that. Your, your tip is sharp. On guard. Ready, yeah, that was me throwing a tantrum. <laughs> On guard, ready, fence. Thirteen, thirteen. Nice. That was nice. <laughs> On guard. Ready, fence. I was like, in your face. I felt like there was core to core. Six times Ready, a charm. Uh, 15, 14. Nice. Like, the, the, it's, it's not bad. Like, uh, how long have you guys been fencing? On and off for like three years, four years. Yeah, not like, the same three or four. Yeah, like hyper recreational. So like uh, anyone who gives you shit, just tell them to take a walk. Um, 
but I we are like, trying to get better, man. You know what I mean? We want to go to more tournaments. Yeah, We're exactly. Actively streaming, you know. And then, like, it's a little, uh, it can be a little daunting at tournaments because, like, you show up, then you've got, like, you've got these 14 year olds who are getting, like, 12 lessons a day. Um, yeah. Right. And then, like, um, you just got so you, you do have some excellent fencers, too. And then it, it feels like it's impossible to catch up. But, like, ultimately, like, you guys are having a good time. And I don't know, like, I'm a borderline jealous. Um, <laughs> right on. So, like, a few things you guys could do to practice is, like, just to be, like, maybe do some bouting <laughs> where one of you guys is stuck in the back of the strip. Like, force one of you guys to be in the back and see what happens then. And then do another one where, actually, let's focus on that. Like, do some bouting where you guys are stuck in the back. Record some of that, and I want to see what you guys do. Awesome. Uh, and then, like, maybe do a uh, stuck in the back and then, like, do one stuck in the back. Uh, you're down two points. You have 30 seconds. And I want, uh, like, each point within 15 seconds. Uh, then you could do, with, like, Elliot, like, try try one day if you can. Just try to only, have, like, obviously try to get the hit. But I want your priority to be, like, just get out of distance. And practice that. You're going to eat some hits, but I think that what you're going to come to learn from it is going to be invaluable. Okay. Right? So, like, you guys are going to have to, like, challenge yourself out of the box. But right now, what you guys are doing is countering each other's moves. And not, like, not to really rip on you guys, but, like, they're, they're not the greatest moves, right? So once you, you guys know how to counter each other, then once you go out to outside of your zone, you're going to be hitting, like, it's going to hit you guys like a truck. And it's going to be a steep learning curve because you won't be able to do that unless you go outside again. And then it gets expensive and COVID and such. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. So right now and right now, like going out is I don't know how hard it is for you guys. But for me, I basically can't leave my province. Oh, we can, we're kind of open, man. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it, it is what it is. I'm like, I'm probably in the best province to be fencing right now. So it's OK. But, uh, okay, so you guys can actually go out. So that's fine. Um, but I just to prepare hamburger. you guys for that. Um, yeah, start, like, trying to develop hits. And, like, even, like, write it down after. I, I used to do that a lot. Just write it down, ideas you have. Uh, and just try them out. Check them off one at a time during the day. Uh, or during, well, during your practice and see what happens. And then you can write notes. Why did that work? Why did I not? And then you can forward it to me, take videos. Um, I'll have a look and then we'll try again. Dude, that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, this was super yeah. helpful. You guys have questions or anything? No, we're just going to keep sending you stuff, dude. Yeah, yeah, we'll do this <laughs> once in a while. It's relatively taxing on my time, but I kind of enjoy doing it. So, dude, um, well, we appreciate it. Yeah, so f for make me more videos, let's try to get like, I think like ideally we want to do this maybe an hour's try. Actually, half an hour is not bad either. But like, give me like 10 minutes worth of videos. Um, okay. So let's focus on, I don't want to see any like too much in the middle here. Like really focus. Let's say you're doing like 15 hits. I want at least half of them to be on either end of the strip. Uh, okay. So just force that out of yourself. Let's see, I have another clip here. It's the pirate. Oh, this is... Oh, look at that. See, I already I asked for it, and you delivered before I could even... <laughs> but that was awesome. This hit is great. Uh, look how you pushed him to the back, and then he just he panicked, right? And then that's going to force you to come up with new ways. But at the same time, it's going to force Elliot to adapt. And see what that pressure is like. So overall, yeah, and like not bad. Keep it up, guys. Um, uh, yeah, go get, go do some fencing. I think uh, you guys could benefit from like some really really hard footwork. Yeah, uh, yeah. We've only recently started like really trying to do footwork. I would say, uh, how do you, how do you guys how often do you guys do footwork? Like straight up footwork like every lesson we do we do it like three times a week and it's probably like 20 minutes of it maybe you should be more. okay that's pretty uh, good yeah.
20 minutes is good to, and also have like and and a lot of times we're we're teaching a class and so it's like elementary let's advance and let's yeah. advance <laughs> you know what i mean i yeah, don't really yeah. know what footwork looks like to be honest with you. okay so i i could i probably have to run that down with you guys that's fine that that'd be easy okay so i'll work on something and so far the common ground is i have to set up footwork lessons yeah. Um. Just general feedback. Like, do you guys like this stuff? This is this cool for you guys? I'm I'm trying to just no give a shot crazy. at online coaching and see what it's like. Cause super I don't, rad. Yeah, because I don't think anyone rad. really does it. So I'm just trying to see uh, what it's like. Well, it's super rad because I I I want to be able to speak this language for other people in our class. You know, I wanted to I want to yeah. be able to do this thing, and I don't know how. So this is beneficial all the way around for our whole club, really. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. Okay, well, we'll we'll be in touch, and then uh, I'll try. Um, maybe in, in two weeks or so, uh, send me some videos. I'll roast you guys some more, and then. Um, well, are you gonna, 